Hello everyone, this is Virain and welcome back to another Google Analytics tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to navigate through Google Analytics because at one go, this might look like a little complicated user interface, but it's really not so. So in order to get started, I need you to log in to your Google Analytics account and you will see this view. Now, starting from the top left corner, you can navigate through all your accounts, properties and views from here and you can select whichever ones you want to go to. Now, I have selected this one particular view. And here I am. Now, on the top right corner, you have your standard account information, which you get on all the other Google products as well, like Gmail or YouTube. And there's a notification bar where analytics keeps giving you notifications as to what more you can do with your account or if there is any problems that it has found. So this is your area for notifications. On the left hand side, you can search for reports from here. You can search for any of these reports without having to directly click on these tabs. You can just search them here. Customization is for creating your own custom reports or custom dashboards. We This is something we will get into in the later videos. Now the different, there are these different kinds of reports that Google Analytics gives you starting with real time. Real time is all about tracking the activity on your website at this moment. So as you can see here, it says six active users on site right now. Um, if you go into audiences, audience is all about just giving you an overview of your audience and their demographics, like uh, what are their interests, what are their ages, what what's their location and things like that. Acquisition is all about the source of their traffic. So what are the channels with which you receive traffic? Are they campaigns? Are they ads? Are they social media and things like that? Behavior is all about how your user is behaving on the site. What are the pages they go to? Uh, what is the time they spend on these pages? What is the flow of content that they see on your page and things like that. And finally, conversion is all about your goals. Uh, you can set up goals on Google Analytics. It could be subscriptions. It could be buying a package. It could be buying a product and things like that. So goals will give you an idea of how much of your traffic is actually completing goals. And, and if you have any money associated with it, you can track how much money you've made through what source. So it makes tracking conversions very, very easy. And finally, the admin section, which we've already gone through in the previous videos is where all your administration stuff lies, where you can add users, add filters, goals, and things like that, basically manage through your entire account. That's it for this video. This was supposed to be a very small video just to give you an overview. And in the next videos, we will start by going into each of these sections and seeing what is the report and what is the data you can get out of each of these reports. Thank you and have a great day.